हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे वी विल डू द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ पोम स्प्रिंग रिटन बाय कार्ला कस्किन बिफोर गेटिंग इनटू द वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट कार्ला कस्किन कार्ला कस्किन वाज एन ऑथर पोएट इलस्ट्रेटर एंड अ चिल्ड्रंस बुक रिव्यूअर she was best known for her poetic musical style she illustrated nearly half of the book she wrote in this poem spring the speaker welcomes the lively weather through words that denote color beauty and eagerness now let's start with the explanation of our poem I'm shouting I'm singing I'm swinging through trees I'm winging sky high with the buzzing black bees In the first stanza the speaker is shouting singing and swinging through trees she is so excited that she feels as if she is flying high in the sky with the bees Now let's move on to our para uh, stanza number 2 I'm the sun I'm the moon I'm the dew on the rose I'm a rabbit whose habit is twitching his nose In the second stanza dear students the poet Carla Kaskin welcomes the uh, beautiful spring season and she says that she has become one with the nature here the poet uses the metaphor when she says she is the sun the moon the dew on the rose and the rabbit dear students do you know what is metaphor yeah you must have read about figure of speech or you will be reading further in your grammar about figure of speech it's a part of a figure of speech metaphor when two unlike things for example here the girl and the object of nature are compared treated as one such comparison is called metaphor in such comparisons we we never used use words of comparison like like such we don't use that we directly compare uh, an object with some th- some other object for example here it's given um, here the comparison is between the poet and the sun the moon the dew on the roses and the rabbit she has beautifully compared herself with the ne- uh, with the beautiful things which are present in the nature now let's move on to para number 3 In this stanza let's read uh, this stanza I'm lively I'm lovely I'm kicking my heels I'm crying come dance to the fresh water eels In this third stanza she goes back to talking about her feelings as she was talking in the first stanza and the third stanza also she has she sta- she started discussing about her own feelings she feels herself lively lovely in doing things that she enjoys she calls upon the fresh water eels to dance with her these lines show the eagerness and enthusiasm of the girl happy with the arrival of joyful spring season Now let's read stanza 4 I'm racing through meadows without any coat I am a gamboling lamb I'm a light leaping goat I'm a bud I'm a blossom I'm a dove on the wing I'm running on rooftops and welcoming spring in this last stanza of the poem 
here the poet has beautifully described herself running through the meadows without her warm coat which symbolizes that the end of the winter has come and welcoming the spring and once again becoming one with one with everything that the cheerful spring stands for she is playing like a lamb a little a little light leaping goat a blooming flower and a dove that is flying happily on rooftops and enjoying this lovely lively season called spring dear students i hope you all have understood that this poem is basically welcoming the beautiful spring season in which we all feel very happy to see the beautiful nature discovering uh, discovering and opening its new colors to the world and giving rejoice to us that's all for today thank you and have a good day